Thousands of child migrants are missing in Europe and human rights organizations are sounding alarms. Very little is known what, about what happens to them because their disappearance is simply not followed up. There is very little that is done by authorities, by child protection systems to understand what happens to these children. Since 2018, 17 child migrants disappear in Europe every day and at least 18,000 unaccompanied child migrants went missing between January 2018 and December 2020. These shocking statistics were revealed by the cross-border journalism investigation project Lost in Europe. The project revealed that the case of missing child migrants could be even higher than the declared numbers and that European governments are failing to provide a solid system of protection for these minors. In 2020 alone, over 5,000 children disappeared in 13 European countries. About 90% of those missing were boys, and about 1 in 6 were alone and younger than 15. The countries with the largest number of missing children were Italy, Belgium and Greece. The investigation, which collated data on missing unaccompanied minors from 30 European countries, found the information provided by European authorities that tend to overlook migrant child cases was often inconsistent or incomplete. Belgium and Finland provided figures only up to the end of 2019, while Denmark, the United Kingdom and France, which is a huge transit hub for migrants, provided no data at all on unaccompanied missing children. But why are many European countries not taking the disappearance of child migrants seriously? We asked Frederica Toscano, the head of advocacy and migration at Missing Children Europe, to explain the thousands of disappearances and apparent lack of interest in this problem. The disappearance of children in migration is often seen as a migration management problem rather than a child protection issue. So instead of seeing the case of disappearance as a child that is potentially in danger, this is seen as a problem that has left a child less to take care of, a responsibility less to take care of, an asylum seeker gone. So there is not really an understanding of the fact that these are children that have equal rights and equal uh, need of protection as all the other children that exist, uh, that are national children, for example. And unfortunately, the fact that today we're dealing with negative migration narratives, negative perception of migration, governments that see migration as a chip in their elections, as a way to stricter migration approaches seem to be a way to get more votes when definitely, honestly, researches show that this is not the case. This is not the first time reports about missing children in Europe made headlines. A previous report by the European Migration Network stated that between 2014 and 2017, over 30,000 migrant children slipped through protection systems in Europe. The majority of the missing children disappeared before filing an asylum application or during the asylum procedure. The report highlighted that there is insufficient cooperation between police and asylum or child protection authorities, and that many European countries fail to follow up when children are reported missing. Although not all European countries keep track of where these minors come from, data shared by the Lost in Europe report shows that the main countries registered as places of origin are Morocco, Algeria, Eritrea, Guinea and Afghanistan. There are multiple reasons why child migrants go missing under the eyes of European authorities. Organizations like Missing Children Europe and Save the Children note that children sometimes leave their care centers because they are put in inadequate facilities, often with no access to education. Also, children become discouraged by the lengthy procedures required to obtain international protection or asylum status, which often means waiting for longer periods of time to be reunited with their families. But what happens to those missing children, and where do they go? Very little is known what, about what happens to them because their disappearance is simply not followed up. There is very little that is done by authorities, by child protection systems, to understand what happens to these children. As I said before, there is little investment in these uh, missing cases and therefore it is very rarely known what happened to these children. According to UNICEF, many child migrants in Europe are routinely left in conditions that would be deemed unacceptable for native-born children. They languish in overcrowded shelters, end up in makeshift camps, or are left exposed to the dangers of life on the streets. And eventually, their mistrust with authorities and fear of detention and deportation prevent children from coming forward to seek protection and support. Unaccompanied migrant children are particularly vulnerable and further exposed to risks of violence, exploitation and trafficking. But research on this matter is limited. 
It is not clear how many of these children end up victim of trafficking in the sense that we cannot, we don't have specific numbers, we don't have precise numbers. What we do know is that Europol has been repeatedly uh, stressing the fact that trafficking organizations are increasingly targeting, especially unaccompanied children. And we also know that uh, some limited research done in the UK by our members and in Italy by other institutions show that a good number of these uh, children that have been going missing are victims of uh, uh, sexual exploitation or labor exploitation. Missing Children Europe also reported that in many cases children were forced or pushed to leave because they were victims or had become victims of trafficking for crimes like child labor and sexual exploitation, forced begging and drug smuggling. In March 2019, The Guardian and Lost in Europe found that at least 60 Vietnamese children had disappeared from Dutch shelters. Dutch authorities suspected they had been trafficked into Britain to work on cannabis farms and in nail salons. Even though, according to the Convention on the Rights of the Child, the state is responsible for the protection of any unaccompanied and separated children on its territory through the appointment of a guardian, whether it be an individual or a legal entity. In practice, however, the guardianship system in Europe faces numerous challenges. According to UNICEF, there are long delays in the appointment of guardians for unaccompanied and separated children due to a huge number of requests, especially at the peak of the migrant crisis in Europe. So, the particular care recommended for child migrants is often inadequately provided and distributed within care centers, which makes them vulnerable and a target. The fact that we don't care for these children is making them the perfect victims because no one is looking for them and this is what criminals really want.